Welcome to this edition of the Falcon Report. This week is April 24th through April 28th, and next week is May 1st through May 5th. Let's check in with our reporter for the story highlights. Hi, my name is Trevor and I'm with Jaden, who has a joke for us. Why did the penny arrest the nickel? I don't know. Why did the penny arrest the nickel? Because he was a copper. <laughs> That's a good one, Jaden. Here are high flies for creativity and assertiveness. In kindergarten, we have Norman and Marla. In first grade, we have Daxton and George. In third grade, we have Allison, Lola, and Jacob. In fourth grade, we have, we have Addie, Aria, and Autumn. In fifth grade, we have Mihai and Avery. For assertiveness, in kindergarten, we have Abigail, Jamie, and Alex. In first grade, we have Isabel and Nova. In second grade, we have Joelle. In third grade, we have Maddie, Sarmad, Lily, Breezley, and Damien. In fourth grade, we have Simone, Hadley, and Addie. In fifth grade, we have Brian and Magix. So way to go, High Flyers. Falcons, it's Mrs. Guyman. It's coming up on the end of the school year, which means we're going to be doing some end of year testing. And your teachers will let you know what that is for your grade. Each grade level is a little different. But with testing, I know some of us get very nervous. We find ourselves in our yellow zone sometimes when we hear the word test. So I wanted to come on to the Falcon Report today and share with you just a few tips, a few things that you can do to help yourself prepare and what to do when you feel nervous when you're testing. So the first thing that's so important is going to be taking care of yourself and your body. So making sure you get a good night's sleep before a day you have a test and making sure you're eating good healthy food, foods that will give your body lots of energy, give your brain energy to be able to think and remember all the things you've learned this year. The second thing to remember is that it's okay to be a little nervous. If you're in your yellow zone, that's okay. When we feel nervous, it actually helps our brain stay on alert. So our brains can do even a little bit more thinking and not get too distracted. If we feel nervous, we're gonna be able to stay focused on our test because we wanna do our very best. The third thing is if you do feel nervous and it's starting to get in the way of your testing, you can use all of the regulation strategies we've practiced this year. Your breathing strategies are going to be the most useful for you during your testing. So remember, we have our lemon squeeze, our triangle breathing, and many more that we've learned this year, like our slow-mo surfer. Some of you even learned the hot cocoa breath this year. Whichever one you like the best, you can use that one while you're taking your test to help you calm your body down, help remind your brain that it's okay to be a little nervous, and to keep focused on your test and do your very best. We hope that you will all work hard going these last few weeks of the school year and that you'll do your very best on all of your tests and any activity you get activities you guys have coming up at the end of this school year. Now, some of the Falcon Report team and some of the other students at Sprucewood have helped me put together a few skits to show you guys what it would look like if you did or if you didn't follow some of these tips to help you with your testing this year. Ivy, are you sure you don't want an egg like Mikey for breakfast? No, I'm good with the cupcake. I shouldn't have eaten that cupcake. <sighs> Kelly, it's 8.30. Please get ready for bed. Okay. K, 
Kelly, it's nine. I'm almost done. Kelly, it's 9.30. Okay, good night. I'm so tired, I wish I went to bed earlier. We currently, we currently have 83,133 care cards. Our goal is 100,000. Keep up the good work, Falcons. Next week is um, Staff Appreciation Week. We'd like to thank all the staff members at Sprucewood. Our teachers. Our office staff. Everyone in the cafeteria. All our booster teachers and resource teachers. Mr. Brown and Mrs. Skino. Thank, Thank you, you for making Spruceswood great. Oh yeah! Hi Falcons, I'm here from the PTA and I get to talk a little bit more about Teacher and Staff Appreciation Week. The fifth grade just did an awesome job teaching us what the staff means and during that week we get to spend um, all five days showing the teachers and staff how much we appreciate them. Um, coming home this week, you're going to have a packet of papers that will explain all the awesome things that we get to do that week. You get to be involved as students. Uh, the PTA is going to be involved and our parents get to be involved in some great ways. So watch for that packet coming home. Our theme this year is Monsters, Inc. So look for a Monsters, Inc. packet with lots of cool information about Teacher and Staff Appreciation Week. We'll see you then, Falcons. Now I'm here with our Teacher of the Year, Mrs. D. Mrs. D, where are you from? I am from San Diego and South Jordan. I grew up in both places. Ah, how long have you been teaching? I've been teaching for about 13 years. Wow. Do you have any pets? Um, my son Evan has a chameleon. His name is Carl. What's your favorite t movie or TV show? Um, I'm not really a movie watcher, but I like watching TV. My favorite TV show is Jeopardy. I watch it every night. And then um, my husband and I, we enjoy watching different drama series on TV together. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Dean. We love having you at Sprucewood. Thank you. It's great to be here. I love Sprucewood. Here are the events happening at Sprucewood this week and next week. Monday, May 1st is our Stand For Kind Assembly. May 1st through May 5th is Stop Appreciation Week. Have a great week, Falcons. Watching the Falcon Report. Report. Yeah, that was horrible. You're all fired.